Hello and welcome to Gen 4, week 2 here on iRacing. We are at Richmond this week, and uh, that means we've got a lot of power on a short track. So this is going to be pretty tough, I think. Already the Aqua car can be kind of difficult. Getting uh, out of the corners. And now we've got a whole lot more horsepower to contend with. So I think uh, it's going to be tough. Green flag, green flag. Got Gavin in here. Hope he does well. Do my best to have a good qualifying. One more lap. All right, I can. I'll take that. B6, you're currently 0.1 off the pace. See if we can get any better lap two, but probably not. Well, that was a good second half of the lap, and actually very marginally better. But I'll take it. Um, definitely going to be driving much differently once actually in the race, though, because I think that's going to be really harsh on the tires, driving it in so hard. We are about a tenth off the fastest guy right now, which isn't too bad. I'm not feeling too bad about that. I'm thinking this might be second split. Yeah, super loose in the day here with powerful belt. Yeah, for sure. Kevin and I talking about uh, not knowing how to be fast with this. Uh, I'm going to try not to spin. Because being backwards probably isn't a very fast way to get around Rich <laughs> Richmond. But uh, in addition to that, I think during the race it's going to be really important not to get too hard on the throttle. Because even if your right front is kind of getting as worn as the right rear here, I think the left rear will start wearing out down here as you're hitting the gas. And it could be really deadly on exit by the time, you know, we're getting deep into this race. <laughs> Almost forgot how long it was. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think to do a green flag pit stop. That kind of stinks. I don't know if we'll have to do that, but if we do... Uh, I might be in trouble. <laughs> it's kind of tough to get on pit road here. That could be an adventure for me, but we'll qualify P6. That'll be okay, I think. Have some track position to start off with. Hopefully, guys will be... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's going to be an adventure for me if I try to try to do a pit stop. So I might just have to hope that the caution comes out and go long if necessary. That's the end of the session, P6. Richmond's not the easiest. It's definitely a place I would have liked to, given that a couple attempts. We'll be on the outside. That's not so bad. I'll take that. We're just going to be trying to get single file as soon as possible, I think. Gosh, I hope I don't crash. I've been driving terribly lately. Gavin's got um, a couple of guys around him. He'll want to give a little extra room, maybe. I think it's good for everybody to give some extra room, though. These things are tough. It's going to be hard to even just get off the line. Could definitely have some guys spinning the tires. 
I'm gonna try my best not to be one of them. Session last lap. We don't have that data. Okay. Estimated about 80 laps of fuel. Okay. So 55's halfway. It might be in my best interest to go a little longer though. I could definitely see people wrecking while trying to do green flag pit stuff. It pit stops if it comes to that. Only two sets of tires. That's not many. That's not very many for 110. I like it though. Could cause some strategy. We might have some strategy appearing out of nowhere. That might be what I need. Because I can kind of halfway do a decent qualifying. P6. But I don't know how good I'm going to be long run. That is, uh, that remains to be seen. Gonna try to be easy on it though. Hopefully not get run over in the process. Hopefully have some fun. It's a very difficult car to drive. The only car I've ever really driven that gets this loose on throttle is the uh, Silver Crown. And obviously that's a <laughs> that's not very com comparable in any other way. A little bit different, believe it or not. But in certain ways, more similar than you think. At least uh, based on my experiences, it's the closest thing to what I've uh, driven. Other than uh, maybe the COT and Gavin's hosted race we did at where was that? Was that Atlanta that we did that hosted race? Old Atlanta. I don't remember. I don't think it was. I think it was like a. Ooh, was it Charlotte? I don't remember. That was a while ago. My brain rots, so. Too green, so we will do another lap here. Fair enough. Big field. One lap to green. Um, try to do a bit of a practice. Okay. Don't spin your tires. First race last week, we had some danger off the grid. Hopefully we don't see that again. No danger. Let's keep it safe. Bubble wrap it all. Get ready. Going green. Watching that number two. Ice car is in. Green flag, green flag. Alright, we got it just fine. Clear inside. Car inside. Still inside. Still there, inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. There. So far, so good. We're okay. Still there at the bottom. Holding on on the outside for now. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. And we'll hold them off. All right. Get in line. Easy on the throttle. Get comfortable, as comfortable as you can get in this car. And run some laps. Actually lowered my steering ratio to 10. 10 to one, I mean. Just to help catch any slides I might get, but I'm gonna try to avoid having those in the first place if I can. So I'm just going to try to stay disciplined on my pedals. And uh, remember not to just crank the wheel a whole ton. I think we'll be okay. That's some room behind. That makes me feel better. 
Keeping this bottom line. Got Houdini up there in second place. Good run for him so far. We overdrove that a little bit, but you can get a good run out of second turn two here. That second turn is what I was trying to say. I like it though. Everyone seems to be kind of uh, just keeping it relaxed right now. I think that's good. I like having just like a steady hold of the brakes through center. Just a very light brake. Keeps it steady. I like the way that feels and keeps uh, keeps the car near the bottom. Of course, with uh, so much speed, you've got to slow the thing down quite a bit, more than most other cars that you might be used to. So, good to get this thing slowed down. Make sure I'm hitting my line and not the apron, which I got pretty darn close to there. But that's just because I'm maximizing, right? Totally intentional. Wow, look how close you can hit the <laughs> bottom line without hitting the apron. Wow. He definitely did just luck out. So seventh place. And some room behind, I like it. We'll see how people uh how their cars start acting long run. We have a pass attempt up there. Being very gentle on throttle on exit. I hope it's enough. So even though I think I'm being gentle, what if it's you know not as gentle as I need to be still? Got lots to learn when it comes to driving this car still, so. We'll see. It's looking clean so far though, so. <laughs> I might have to get into the pits somehow, which is, of course, terrifying. But everybody else has to do it, too. So at least there's that. <laughs> I'm still feeling pretty good. I'm happy with how it feels right now. Oreo car up there getting loose. That's not going to make it any easier in the next corner either, heating it up like that. We got someone catching up behind us. Oh my gosh. Definitely going to watch out for that. See if he can keep that thing steady. The 16 falling off? Kind of caught up to his rear end here. Alright, easy on the throttle, not too much. Oh, he overdrives it, I think. Looks like he's fine, though. Got on the brakes a little bit early. You can definitely snap on you out of two if you're not careful. It's kind of that way in just about every car you bring to Richmond. If you start gassing it up too hard out of there, it can make you regret it. And a car like this, of course, is not going to be an exception. Eight up there getting loose. All right, Colton, Pay attention to what I'm doing, huh? Up. 
You gotta be careful on the straightaways too. When you're kind of gassing it up, you can get like some tire spin. So I gotta be aware of that. Kind of took the, sh the exit a little shallow there. That wasn't great. It's never easy. You don't really get to take a breath. Always kind of holding on to it somehow. Hold it together. Okay, that was weird. Screen kind of froze for a moment. Don't enjoy that. Uh oh, someone got sent. My bad. This could get bad as they're trying to sort this out. Kind of getting all checked up here. It's making me a little nervous. So much concentration needed. We'll lose. Easy on the throttle. Gotta remind myself. I'm basically half throttle by the time I get to the start finish line now. I'm gonna get hit from behind. This guy keeps driving in way too hard. He's gonna drive through me, I can already see it. Can't overdrive it though, because I'm worried about him. Just gotta hit my marks. Easy now on the straightaway. It's getting kind of loose. All right, didn't expect to get to his outside there. Maybe we can get around him. We do. Interesting. Alright, that wasn't so bad. He might have backed out for me. Can't believe we're already 29 laps into this thing. And at the same time, I can't believe we're only 29 laps into this thing. My arms are already falling off. I kind of tried to turn down under him, but that wasn't going to happen. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. 
clear outside. Guess the inside's not where you want to go when it comes to being side by side. Okay, he kind of just slid up in front of me. That was a little bit scary. It's fine though. Inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Kind of moving up a lane, so I think that's where I want to be. Clear inside. Car inside. Clear inside. Our last line was a twenty three point eight. Huh. Whoa. Kind of got loose on the throttle, and then he got into the wall because of it. I think he did the same thing almost. Caution. And caution. All right. Man, that's tough. Ah, my hands. <laughs> it hurt. Only two sets of tires. That's crazy. Like, do we even want to? That's not very nice to say. Just if someone spins out. You're right. You're I'd right. like to pause. Race car is out. Pits are closed. Race Wonder what happened. Sounds like it might have just been a single car spin. Oh my god! One just about ran into the back of me. We're fine. <laughs> we'll put fuel in it. Might be enough to make it to the end. The leader, Ericsson, is pitting. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Okay, Colton, we'll fuel you to the end of the race. Pit box in 10, 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. Can't risk it here with you, buddy. Almost over, overdrove it. 87.88. But left rear, like I predicted, worse than the left front. So that's where a lot of that loose is coming from, I think. But otherwise, pretty happy with how that went. All clear. Punch it. Be mindful. You only have one set of cards remaining. Line up, single file. I think we're about the same spot, maybe. It's kind of scary. It was in a cloud of cars. So we're not quite there yet according to the calculator, but we're very close, so we're going to save some fuel. I don't think it'll be too much issue saving fuel. It feels like you can really get away with uh, being easy on the throttle. Probably better for you anyway. So, it feels like not too tall of an ask to save the amount it wants me to save. We're in 12th. Some people did not hit, it sounds like. Oh yeah. I see some people that would do that. Or two tires, or whatever it is. So we'll be on the outside. That's just fine. Kind of like the outside line. Even if it's not the fastest, especially early on. I think I feel a little more comfortable there. It feels like it's not going to snap as much. Yeah, that's probably just me. Never mind, we are on the inside. Something was wrong. <laughs> we are actually 11th. Alright. Well, forget everything I said. Everybody loves the inside line. Including me. Definitely want to be down here. <laughs> we'll see. I think a lot of it just depends on... Uh, how the people in front of us get going. And uh, they have some old tires up there, I think, so. That'll be interesting. 
Hey Jake, you can go right around me on the outside here. I'm going to restart my name well. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Outside. Go low. Still there. Clear up top. Alright. We're good. Erickson is now leading. You're in the top ten. Alright, this guy's just gonna be clogging up the bottom lane, I guess. I mean, these are people that did not take tires, so that's always going to happen. Clear up top. That's what I like to hear. All right. Hopefully we got by all the guys that didn't take tires. We didn't, but <laughs> we made some progress at least. Ooh, that was intense. We're good on fuel. All right. Definitely not taking tires now. We're going to be out here for a while at this point. That could have been worse. That's for sure. There were some scary situations. I didn't know I was taking that guy three wide, but I knew I couldn't just sit behind him all day either. I thought I was actually... I thought the person on his far outside might have cleared him. And so that's why I felt comfortable going on his inside. No problem. I know he's a handful off of two. And he might have, too. He might have actually cleared him on the outside, but someone else might have sent it on the outside of him. It was hard to see. I don't really know exactly what happened, but... Fact is, like, the guy's on 37 lap older tires. Clearly he was way off pace. Just a dangerous situation where I had to... We all had to find a way around. I think we will actually be on the outside this time. Although the inside worked pretty well until we got stuck behind somebody. I'm feeling pretty good on these restarts. It seems like I'm kind of launching off a little bit better than some other guys. Can't wait until uh, I find out that's because I'm pushing it too hard and I crash myself. I feel like that's uh, not too unlikely. Four course yellow, pits are open. Those guys that stayed out, too, taking a bit of a risk with fuel. I mean, maybe they can make it if we get enough cautions or something, but if we're getting cautions, then the people on the better tires are you know, catching up to them. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird decision. I would think even if you didn't want to take tires yet, come down and get the fuel so you can make it to the end. But there might be something I'm missing, too. But we got uh, past a couple of guys that didn't have the tires, which is good news. There's uh, the 14 directly in front of us, who still has old tires. So hopefully we'll be able to find a way around him without too much trouble. I might have to give him some extra space on this restart, because he might not be able to hit the gas as well as I will be able to on the better tires. I have to watch out. Alright, hopefully Gavin's having a good race back there. Didn't get caught in anything that's gone on so far. He had some bad luck with his first attempts, but About to go green. the great thing is they're not patching this car and taking it away. Plenty of opportunities to have some good runs. The car good stuff. Green, green, green. Inside. Still there. So stuck behind this guy. Really wanted to get around him. Clear inside. Car outside. 
Hey, there we go. One on my outside, right? Okay. Don't light the rears up, no need for it. Outside. You've just done a 22.8. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. Outside. I'm gonna take clear advantage high. of that opportunity. They were just stacking up a bit too much for me. Now back to being easy on the throttle, holding that brake through the center so we can hit our marks. Feeling okay. P6. A little bit too happy on the throttle there. It's okay. Just can't get in the habit. Let's get some laps logged. That sounds good to me. Still a long way to go, just barely under halfway still. Ooh, bit of a check up there. Looked like the one might have almost gotten to the back of the three. Steve Park into Dale Earnhardt, what? That's gonna make him unhappy. Can't make the boss unhappy like that. <laughs> After all, we are in the Gen 4s, right? Gotta think about uh, era specifics here. Last lap time was at 23.1. One might be trying to get a run on the three, trying to make a pass. I'm thinking that might be what that wider entry was. I got a little bit loose. I think I gotta calm down the throttle a little bit. Concerning myself a little bit. Yeah, a little bit easier, that's nicer. Keep it around the bottom. Good stuff. Kind of getting on full throttle once we're in a straight line. It's more comfortable to do it like that. Well, someone getting a little bit unsettled up there. Caution. Caution. Still can't come in and get that other set of tires. Way too early still. Only one set left. Definitely have to be smart about it. I see smoke. It must have been maybe someone spinning. Yeah, we're in it's fine. You got loads. Race cars out. Line up single <sighs> file behind car number yeah. zero. It's been someone on the front stretch, maybe getting on throttle too hard or something. Yeah, those uh, those people that didn't take tires might have really enjoyed seeing that. You can see them flying forward. I don't feel like we're too far off pace yet. But... Some people coming in? Ah, uh, no way. They're not taking their last set of tires yet. No way, no how. Let's 
See, uh, let's check our standings, see if Gavin's having a good race. P16, okay. He's, he didn't qualify, so I assume that means he's probably doing okay. Stay out of trouble and moving forward. And some other names we know as well, like Shane. Just taking a look. Obviously still uh, lots of race to go, lots of different strategies. I bet, uh, I don't know. I wonder if Gavin, I guess Gavin would have pit that first caution, but I wonder if he took tires at the time. Might not have taken tires, but gotten the fuel. Interesting to see if that's the case. Of course, I'll be watching his video. Pretty happy sitting in P6, though, as the 11, in a very strong field. If I can maintain something around here, that'd be great. Top 10 would be great, even. Just uh, being able to pull it into the top 10, so... Things are going okay so far. But again, long way to go still. Thankfully, it doesn't include green flag pit stops, of which I was not prepared for. So I gotta be careful. This is my first time uh, here on somewhat older tires. One left to green. Green. Next You're on the outside this time. On a restart, so. Gotta be prepared for it to be even more slippery. So we'll be able to hold it together. We'll see if those people that got the tires are going to be able to make their way through the pack. I could definitely see another caution happening as they uh, try to make their way forward quickly. About to go green. Stay focused. The pace car is in. Alright, someone's blinking into my view. Yep, that's not too surprising. Alright. Good run, guys. Yeah. Nothing good racing, I think. We think that's a hell of a run, guys. I'm gonna tell me to get my tires here. Well. Tire spin wasn't too bad. So I'll take that for sure. I wonder if that was somebody who run over you. I don't know if you missed the gear or just stopped or what, but we took off together and then you weren't going anymore. No Sorry about that. I didn't miss no gear. 19 runs, someone over. That's surprising. 30, I bet not right here. Honestly, it's not bad at all. I think that happened behind Gavin. I think he's probably okay. That I believe that must have happened pretty far in the back. But we'll click some more laps off. Fortunately, it's not under speed. Restart felt fine. I still felt like I had a pretty good handle on it. And theoretically, it should be even even better with the tires given even more of a chance to cool down. It's are open. Sorry, Doctor. Oh, good. Hey, just pay attention when we'll get to the pace car. Good thing. Left up, one, carbide. You had the position. Right, two degree lane. Not too much longer to wait, hopefully. I had to caution. Pits are closed. Do I want to adjust my brake bias or anything? It's feeling okay. I guess I could put it back a little bit. We'll do that. We'll do about two. It's not feeling all that bad right now, but it has kind of gotten a little bit tighter over time. And that could help out just a tiny bit. I started a little bit uh, 
higher than maybe I should have. Just because I was worried about it being unsettled under braking. But kind of feeling more comfortable now, so I'm okay with doing that. We can do it again. Everybody pretty much in the same spots up here. The one got in front of me last time while blinking, so I wasn't even really sure if that's where he was. So that was a little weird, but Let's see how it goes this time. I assume he's going to try to do the same thing again. Kind of uh, revealed his game plan to me. Get ready, going green. Post car is off. Green, 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 green. You're in fifth. Inside. Clear. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Inside. Caution. Yellow flag. All right. We're getting a spot. We have uh, descended into chaos. I guess. Back there, fellas. Half that one. Cody ran over a guy. Zero, eight. We're under caution. It's closed. Who ran over a guy? Not over a surprise. 30. Pete Road is now open. Let's not All start pointing the finger around, right. okay? Left one. Right. Where well, hey, if we're going to have these quick cautions, if I can gain a spot each time, I'm okay with that. The guy in front of me tried to run the apron down the back stretch and had to stop for turn three so he couldn't make the corner. And then we all have decided to pit. I'm not doing it. Yeah, that's because they're all in the car. Not unless we get another long run. I don't think I ran a apron. We haven't run any laps, so that doesn't make any sense to me. I just have to stick with these for now. I hear you, Scott. Either way, I thought you were going to get in there deeper. I'm going to hit you, so it's my fault. Ah, the 19-day yeah, I just didn't want to slide yeah. up and take anybody to my outside off. I wasn't sure how wide we were. Not a problem, Alan. I just messed up. Is Kevin still okay? He's at 18th now. He gained a spot, too. He was in 19th. Shane, how did he gain a ton of spots all of a sudden? Wasn't he behind Gavin? Apparently, he's moving forward, and he might be on the fresh tires or something. No one immediately behind us at the moment. Brian, As you can see here on Race Labs, well, we where uh, people pit, right. lap 37 behind us still. So no one immediately behind us. But I'm sure they'll catch up quick if we actually get some green laps. For me to come down pit road, though, we're going to need a decent green flag run for me to want to do that. Otherwise, we're not really wearing them any further right now under these caution laps. Plus, it seems like track position could be hard to, to get. Could be difficult making some passes, so... Obviously, the new tires it wouldn't be all... as and that wouldn't be nearly as difficult, but... Still, gotta think about how much time you have left. And all that. One left to green. Get ready. You'll be up on the inside. And we'll be on the inside this time. Something a little bit different we'll have to be ready for. So we'll be able to see the leader just fine. I think we should. My eyes are watering. I don't think I'm blinking enough. <laughs> don't have the time. About to go green. Stay focused. I don't got time for blinking. These cars are too fast for that. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. Get back in the Okay, we're good. Okay, Colton. The next car is. 
Jeez. I, I was worried for a split second that there was someone on my outside I didn't know about. I had a, a small little bit of panic. <laughs> we were fine. No trouble monitors is really scary sometimes. Working on saving the funds for that. <laughs> to be uh, to be continued on that front. Oh my gosh. All right, we're fine. Outside. Nobody saw that. Clear outside if you want to. I kind of reacted to that contact ahead and it got me unsettled. And another caution. Still not pitting. There's still a bunch of 37s oh, okay. behind us. The gloves are coming off here at Ridge Ridge. Running into each other, I guess. I mean, I'm sure that was my fault, but I thought you slid up in front of me. But I'll face the gloves. Unfortunately, it sounds like Shane's involved. I'm not going anywhere. Who's with me? I'm going to indicate that I have no intention. Strength of numbers here, guys. More space between me and uh, everybody else. No! I mean, I guess if you're in front of me, it's not a big deal. Oh my god, dudes. My dudes. I'm trying to crash. Alright, we got takers behind us. There goes some of our buffer. Scott's brave, though. He'll stick it out with us, but then behind him, I think it's going to be a lot of... A lot of better tires, maybe. There's the first one. 25. Lap 60 came in for tires. Still? Yeah. Interesting. So we don't have much buffer left. Getting a little bit weird. We didn't gain a spot that quick caution, unfortunately. It's open. But we did maintain, so that's worth something. It did seem a little less, a little more uh, unstable on the bottom line. I was kind of having to maneuver the throttle a little bit. I guess because you're technically turning. And it's slightly more of a sharp turn, I guess. I don't know. But we'll have to be careful. Once we get launched again. Sorry about that last year's start where I just appeared here. Top five right now. Don't know how long that's going to last. But for now... Doing all right. That 25 in his A 1.6 safety rating scared me a little. That of course can be deceptive. It could be he just does a lot of short track specific racing and you know, you look at like the tour modifieds and stuff, like they give out 4Xs like candy even if it's like a baby little tap. So he could be not even that bad of a racer and still Kind of uh, got a lower safety rating there. And he still got an A. Just worth something too, but just something to keep an eye on. What people around you have. It's doing some weird things. Under pacing. Get ready, going green. Off. Green flag, green flag. Terrible start. Dang. Why are we in the bottom three wide? Alright, I guess we're okay. Keep low. It's that guy new tires flying. Can we? Oh my goodness, guys. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Pace car's out. Line up single file behind We're gonna get run over. Ah, I didn't mean now. I meant by the guys on the fresh tires. I'm have more yellow black lap and green black lap.
I just gotta stay out at this point. We haven't run any laps. Just taking the track position. We'll take a set later, I guess, if we get passed by these guys, and then we have like a green white checker, but they're not even doing very many laps either. So we need situation to begin. How's it going, man? Been a while. Been a while. Still P5. I just taking a bit of an off strat. Good to see you. Guess we'll go to a cooler part of the track for what that's worth. Probably nothing. Hmm. Scott in the five, I just noticed. It's our open. He's still on the old tires. That 25 is the only one right now. Gavin is and Shane are both still on the old tires. Interesting. I think the people that with the fresh tires are having trouble moving forward. I think the 25 might be moving forward pretty aggressively, and it's worked so far for getting him some spots, but I guess some of the other guys are still back there. Definitely more uh, sketchy on the uh, restarts on this on the bottom side. Definitely found that out. Good to see Shady Gavin having a good run though, moving forward. I thought for sure with how they were gaining positions, they must have been on fresher tires or something. One left to green. Well, Alright, we'll, we'll go again. We'll try it again. I still burn. Can't blink. <laughs> at least we have Shane behind us. I kind of trust him, at least. Although, apparently, he did get into the back of somebody at some point. But it, that sounds like it was debatable. Like, moved up in front of him or something. Somebody did. We'll see all of it later, of course. But generally, I trust him more than your average person. I don't know. Can't see. Feeling he's gonna move down in front of me. That's okay. Oh my god. There it is. Pace car is out. Line up single. Well, that didn't work for us. Dumbass been taking it three wires for the rest of my time. Can we race, please? And then getting loose on your own side and or pushing up into a year. Whatever, you know. Just stupid grip. Yeah, there's a wonder why we can't do any freaking green flag laps with those kinds of moves. What did he do there? Was that a dive bomb? It's the other way. People think that they can just go balls to the wall finally. Unfortunately, Shane must have gotten taken out. Somebody taking it three wide. The cautions just lead to more cautions, too, because guys think they have to go now because there's going to be another yellow flag in a minute. So it's just a, a snowball effect, I guess. Really outside, though, I feel a little bit more comfortable on the outside, I think. So I'm kind of kind of happy about that. Plus, I'm happy I got the 25 by me. We've got the 18 starting behind us. It has older tires. But not as old as ours. Just a couple laps, which I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Then we've got 70, lap 70 for the 10 car. How many guys we even got still back there? I know they've been wrecking a lot. There's plenty. There's plenty, plenty, plenty. Who knows what kind of damage they have, but there's plenty of people back there. Oh 
would like to do some racing today. We got some done early on, and and then people forgot that they're not an arc anymore and are slamming the throttle and forgot it's not 10 laps, it's 110. They're just so forgetful. I can't wait to see myself on your YouTube channel there, Gavin. Yeah. One left to green. <laughs> Apparently 25 knows Gavin. Yeah, I got you in my uh, windshield for quite a few times here. He's <laughs> probably pacing behind him, right? Let's go ahead and put me on the windshield. Run me over. Hmm. We don't have we don't overtime have in that deal, do we? Yeah, we do. We do have overtime. I didn't know that either. I think we have one green white trigger. I actually didn't know that. Haven't uh, been in that situation yet. Yet. It's not looking good for this one. Someone, I think, tried to send it low on Gavin really badly. Really late dive. Can't look at that right now, though. Thought they were wrecking in front of me. Saw someone very sideways. That was at Tires feel fine, to be honest. We'll see if they still feel okay when they uh, warm up a bit. We're actually doing some laps, that's cool. Someone there getting loose again. Yeah, I've been fighting that guy hard on uh, his older, his new, new tires. That's pretty impressive. Still can't look very often though. <laughs> I just know he hasn't come flying past me yet. That being the guy on the fresher tires. The guy should be able to get past Gavin. He has like freaking 40 lap fresher tires. Gavin's like our best defense defensive lineman right now. <laughs> preventing the fast guys from getting to me. Five on throttle into the wall. Got the sky again. Gavin actually fought him off. Wow, that's impressive. I gotta see that battle later. I feel like I'm making his channel sound more appealing than mine, which it is, but also <laughs> I'm like, everyone's clicking off my video to go watch his. <laughs> which, fair enough. I don't know if I want to go get tires. 
Gavin fought off the guy on his 70, lap 70 tires. Wasn't that the guy complaining about somebody running over him, and then he goes to run somebody over? Yeah. Dan? Dan? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how it usually happens. Uh, I mean, that's like fine, but I'd really be stopping on Andrew and get the bearings. Race car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero. Yeah, but if we got a problem, we're we're a full problem we're the problem is a full problem and kill me. See, Matthew, when you complain about somebody running over somebody else, else you have nothing to do with it, you get involved in somebody else's bullshit. bullshit. So it's sometimes it's better just to hush. Not being I'm serious. Full problem. Make sure this car is completely destroyed. What is going on back there? Much more. Nobody coming in. Across the grandstand. Do it. Jump up. I'm pretty sure that spoiler height's not going to pass post race. Ten left to go. You can virtually get out of the car and walk up there. Hmm. Wow, I can't Let believe that. On the we actually got a lucky dog. What happened to oh my God. P4? Let the 27 carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came we out. We just ended up on the inside. It's our husband. I'm doing all my blinking right now, so apparently I missed something. Where did the four, the fourth place guy go? Did he blink out? Did he pit? He must have pit. It looked like everybody last minute went back on track. Like, there's no way. Like, you pit right now. Look how far back you go. He's back in 23rd that he must have pit. I don't think you're getting all the way back up here. I mean, we're, we've got not very many laps to go. Gavin showed you can hold him off on that high side. Even with much newer tires. We just haven't really done too many laps on these, I guess. I think I'm staying all the way to the end of this race, for sure. Closed. Pit road is closed. I don't even think it's uh, much of a question. It's closed. I feel pretty good. We're in the top five right now. I think Gavin could definitely get a better jump on us from the outside lane with how careful and throttle you kind of have to be down low. But if we can get a decent enough start, be on the inside. I don't know. I think that outside lane, or I guess it's the middle lane technically. The middle lane has a lot of it has a lot of There's speed. A lot of beat up cars around me. All right. Twenty. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inside. We're gonna have six to go. Could we do them under green? Probably not. But we'll try, I guess. Guy directly behind me has those fresh tires. But he apparently raced Gavin pretty long, cleanly, so maybe we'll be okay. About to go green, stay focused. Just gotta get a good jump here. Can't spin the tires or anything. Nice car is off. Alright, that was pretty good. Report. Oh my god. How am I holding the seven by? You're like two cars behind me when that came out. At least we got the race early. What was that bomb in the event? Why? 
Detecting hints of sarcasm from that gentleman. Will this eat up our uh, green white checkered? I think it will. Gavin unfortunately lost some track position. The four who pit there, so inexplicably in runs into the back of someone on his new tires. That's I'm used to getting on these brakes about eighty five percent. That's not too surprising. I don't know anything about him, but that's yeah, kinda just what happens. I would just like this thing to go ahead before we get hit but from behind. I need to nail the restart like that, though. I can't let uh, someone get on my inside and make it three wide or anything. That's when things are going to go south. I think the 10 could definitely pass me on the outside out there. Guy directly behind me is going to want to go, I'm sure. I kind of wish that we just stayed on sequence with everyone else. It just jumbled everything up. Goddamn. Yep. Yeah, if we yeah, had, if we uh, had some long green run, our strategy would have worked out really good. Yeah, I thought we were going to be good after that first It'll be our, uh, it will be green-white checkered. Sounds like uh, everyone's reporting, we get one of them. Appreciate, Appreciate the apology, the Bradley, but you're not going to win with him to go doing that. Like, I don't know what, know what you're trying to do there. I agree, so then he didn't just in his drives around no head. head. Yeah, it's hilarious yeah, from the people, people like Sean sitting there talking, talking about, about it was a pitch strategy that messed him up, but I think it was taking it three wide up there in the top seven or eight messed him up. Hmm. Short track tempers coming out. Everybody's angry at everybody. All right, one green light checkered. That might as well be. A red flag, though, for two reasons. One, because this is like a matador waving the the red tarp. People behind me are probably going to charge and probably take me out. That's what I generally assume is going to happen. People just see red whenever the green-white checker comes out. I had to go. It was the green-white checker. That means I have to run you over. And also, might as well make it red, because this is going to be a huge pileup more likely than not. But I'm also just pessimistic, so. I just have to have a good restart one more time. If I could do that, I will be okay. Oh boy. One left to green. Line up on the okay, inside. Get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. Scared. Fear. Nervous. These are the emotions I feel. As we take it to 112, at Richmond. Here in circa 1999 or whatever. Yeah, no. About to go green, stay focused. Pace car is off. Oh my gosh, all right. We're okay, what oh, no. oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, P7. Sorry about that, I could not get on throttle at all when I was finishing. Good race, right? Oh my goodness. You're good, I was just doing my best to say no. How did we get out of that with a P7? Zero X. Lost a couple spots there, but that's not too surprising. When James. 
Thank you, thank you. Good one, James. Yeah, hell of a yeah, job. Yeah. Hanging on there. Hanging on there. Win. All right, so Gavin gets PA, we get P7. You have a nice run. Hey, Sensoid. Cody, it was a good race ready again, buddy. Have a good one, man. Yeah, man, take it easy. Good race. Yeah, what could definitely could have been better. Yeah. Kind of said each other with a message at the same time. Yeah, for that, yeah, for that for sure. Have anything else to say? <laughs> Good run to Gavin, though. What did our tires end up? 90 89. So we're actually on the rear, and they were still gripping up pretty well. So, I mean, we just didn't use the tires that much. Not since lap 37. That's how bad the second half of the race was. So, I think it was a, it was a good plan. I'm glad that we ended up staying out. I mean, you got the guy that pit close to the end i'm sure he gained some spots in fact he gained more than i expected all the way back to 11th but ran into some trouble made some people mad definitely didn't make his way back up to fourth where he was so definitely was the play to stay out on track go ahead and see uh oh god we're gonna be here all night i'm gonna see some of these wrecks probably gonna have to go through them pretty quick But it sounds like they got up to some some business. Only one gets in the back of the 10. They're okay though. All the way to lap 19. Why couldn't we race that way the whole time? That was even just a blink. Oh yeah, there's the three drifting it. That was quite the save. I didn't mention it at the time, but what a save that was. I think the eight maybe got in the back of them. Yeah, don't smoke, kids, especially around shell oil. It almost got into the back of them again. But uh, Oreo dunks it in to the inside. Everyone's kind of going all over the place. That was a sketchy time to be behind all that. But they didn't wreck. 13 on throttle, into the wall. You thought the Xfinity Wiggles were bad. Try having some crazy power under the hood. You can see lots of people doing it. More wall hits on the straights than uh, <laughs> in the corners. So there's the 25. That was our first caution. Just loops it. Which, uh, of any car, it's understandable. He's trying to maybe uh, keep a spot or make a pass on the 6. He throttles it up hard and just uh, goes around on him. Nobody else caught in? Caught in it, at least? He goes on to win the race, so that was your uh, Reese's sweet move of the race. Spinning out, getting a caution, and then choosing the right strategy. <laughs> Spin to win. Six. Runs into the back of the 29. It's kind of weird. How did that happen? 29 just being really easy on throttle, maybe. Yeah. Probably just uh, trying to keep the rears happy, and the guy behind was not quite ready for that. 22 has more mid corner speed and dumps the 13. Yeah, the 22 wasn't even really making a corner. He was like pushing wide. Might have been an indication to slow it down a little bit, but he doesn't. And we'll turn the 13 and go on his merry way as they wreck behind him. Trying to see the aftermath, how many people might have gotten stuck in this. 
Looks like maybe just the two. Not the number two, but the two cars got involved. So, under caution, not sure what we're seeing here. Not much, I guess. The 30 is going to loop it. All the way in the back of the field. Does a quick spin and brings out the yellow. Could have done without that. I think this is what starts our uh, downhill jam, too. It's the nine jams into the four. Oh, Gavin was right behind that, too. I'm sure he didn't enjoy that. They figure it out, though. Hey, Jordan. How did he do? Wish I would have just stayed out with you guys. Nice top ten. Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, there's no way you can predict that, that the yellows are just going to keep coming out. It definitely could have swayed in his favor in another circumstance. You know, our left side is basically, you know, A, A+. plus. I'm no longer going to happen. What if no one buy my secure situation now? No way to no. I'm gonna spell it so it fits. He keeps it to a four X, not so bad considering the rest of the field. We are one of only four people that kept it 0x. Not too surprising, it looked like a bloodbath back there. And uh, we'll continue seeing what that looked like. Cartoon Network gets hooked. Guys up in the wall up there and... Is everyone able to miss him? Yeah. Four goes below him. Kind of gets hooked a little bit as they're trying to figure out three wide. No one crashes yet, but it'll happen. Believe me, there's plenty more wrecking to do. 19, running over the 18. So they're three wide up ahead. I assume the 18's probably backing off as if to expect them to still be three wide. I think that's what you have to do as the 18 in that situation. And the uh, 19 not ready for him to hit the brakes so early. I could have uh, anticipated it, but what really gets this thing going is the 30 in the chain reaction, getting in the back of the 19. And now we got a couple people into it. Nothing too bad, though, it looked like back there. No big hits, necessarily. Hmm. So the 14's on the inside here, but he goes and takes, like, the middle line. So I can see why Shane was not expecting that. Like, I think if you're on the inside here, you're expected to be on the bottom. So Shane's driving in like he's going to be given the middle lane, and it just doesn't happen. The 14 doesn't get it turned down. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Maybe just not getting this uh, machine slowed down enough. And so Shane just ends up going to the corner, and the 14's where he's expecting to go. So that sends the 14 around. Whoa, I think everyone's okay, though. Another single car wreck. 30 getting caught up, it looks like, under yellow. 
Oh my god. What was that? That was a horrible... He was like six car lengths back and he ran into the back of him. That's not great. That's not great at all. He just destroyed him. No real reason for that. You can see he's got he's got a huge pack ahead of him. He's got nowhere he can go, so why drive in there like the track's empty? I don't know about that. Fortunately, that gets Stanton and a handful of others. See the damage he got from that. Shane and Gavin three wide. 26 is just going to drive up and run into him. Let me guess, the 26 put it three wide too, didn't he? Yep. This is where you made your mistake. Like, it's not necessary. Look, he's not even able to keep it straight. He's like spinning on throttle. Like, how are you gonna hold your line if you can't even hold your line on the straightaway? <laughs> if you can't control your car on the straightaway? I don't know about that, man. They are where they need to be. 26 just comes up. Doors chain gets them all, all unsettled, and now they're wrecking. Lots of people piling in. So, uh, not too, uh, not too uh, great for the Cartoon Network guy. Oh boy, there's a lot of people on their way to this one. Oh my goodness, that was a that was a huge one. Oh my god, track blocker. Not very great situation there. And 26. Just gonna roll it around, I guess. Shane getting caught back up. Having been destroyed by the 26. 16. Into the back of the 17. And here we go again. Just a bloodbath back here. I mean, I don't know why the 17's driving in two lanes. I mean, I guess he's clear, so he can drive whatever line, but I guess, you know, the 16's thinking he's taking the bottom line, and then he's drifting up into the second lane. It's like, what lane are you running? Not being very predictable, and 16, I think, maybe misjudges it, tries to go around the outside. And then here, here we go. Everyone pile in. Tug pile, once again. Thirty finds his way in another one. Not really, it didn't really have a choice in that one, though. Oh look, three wide, because it definitely worked every other time. Twenty-four is up in the wall. And then you saw the beginning of another rack up ahead. Where's the two going? Oh, three wide. He's sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. He goes to the apron to get below the 21 here. They're separate wrecks. Have, they're multiple wrecks starting in the same corner at the same time. So, the 20... <laughs> I see three different wrecks right here. That's insane. So, the 29 up here. That's the 29, right? Yeah. He gets dumped by the 21, although the 21's probably scared of the 2. Because the two is sending it in. Three wide after already being three wide. Just one three wide wasn't enough. He had to go find another three wide to be in. So he comes up and gets the 21. He was going to run into him anyway. Meanwhile, over here, what do we have going on? The seven driving in at a million miles an hour, just clipping the right rear of the four. Trying to get on his outside and is judging it, I guess. So we had three different sparks setting one large fire in three and four, because we just hadn't wrecked enough already. Boy, what a mess this was. I am glad we were in front of it all. Gee whiz. Shane, I think, was the lucky dog going around. God, what is that? What are we doing? We're four wide. Because the two has already wrecked someone this race, so now make it four wide. 
Mm, the 26 is coming all the way down the track. Well, not so much. 24 is ready to dive it in a million miles an hour, and 26 is a lane down, and it's just everybody's everywhere. How did they not even wreck from that? Just crazy, man. So on the outside, gassing it up, getting as much as he can. I believe that was the finish. They're bumping into each other, getting everything they've got. And Scott will actually edge out the 8 for that position. I don't quite get the 9. But I also just didn't want to loop myself on the final corner, so... I wasn't, you know, going too crazy with it like it seemed like the other guys were. I was okay maybe losing a spot if, as long as I didn't wreck myself or anybody else. Everyone coming to the line, giving it a million... A million percent. People spinning across the line. They're like four wide up there. I think Gavin said he got loose. Just could not <laughs> hold on to it. Then Jordan not able to get around him as they're spinning the tires up. Huh. <laughs> But that's coming to the finish, everyone giving everything they got, and then the, I guess the 6 is running over the 13. Probably mad about something from earlier, I guess. We're just gonna wreck each other. Yeah, 13 got the last laugh on that one. I'm not laughing though, I, didn't, I don't think that's very funny. And the 10, going to celebrate his top 5 with a drift into the wall. And uh, 25 gets the win. Excellent round by him. His strategy worked, coming in lap 60. 111 estimated I rating for him. And uh, he's going to do his burnouts, and that'll uh, be the end of it for us here. So, we get a P7 as the 11 car. We'll go out and buy a Slurpee after this, I guess. <laughs> but uh, definitely happy with that. Got a fantastic run going from 24 up to 8. And uh, had it not been for that little accident at the end, he avoided all the chaos back there. Just gets the 4x, so. Fortunately, Shane not able to make it to the end after getting a run into. But, you know, when we had some green flag laps, it was fun, but most of it was just a. Huge dumpster fire. <laughs> Still, excellent car. If uh, guys could hold it together a little bit better, we could probably have some good racing. But still wasn't all that bad. I hope you enjoyed, even though there was lots of cautions. Hopefully you were able to skip through them if you didn't want to see them. But uh, that'll do it here for, uh, for us today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time.